When you think about buckies in South Africa, you think five brands. You've got Ford with their Ranger, Toyota with their Hilux, Isuzu with their D-Max, I can even slot in the GWM with their P-Series, and obviously Volkswagen with their Amarok. You hardly think Mitsubishi and their Triton. Albeit, whenever I go to the Eastern Cape, I Ijans, love this Triton. My cousin drives a Triton and he's been preaching about the Triton, but I was always too dumb to listen. Now, don't be that guy who's also too dumb to listen to my video, guy or girl, but this has really impressed me throughout this week. I'm going to tell you about the exterior, the interior, as well as how it drives, but I'm really, really impressed. I think Mitsubishi needs more awareness on this Bucky because it's such a great Bucky. Now, the exterior for me is really bold. You look at the front and it's extremely, extremely bold. Giving that Japanese look, you can instantly see that this is, you know, a Japanese Bucky. You've got your headlights up here with your daytime running lights in there. Then you've got your fog lamps here as well as your indicator lamp here. Blacked out obviously everywhere. I just don't know why they haven't put a bash plate under. It's all plastic. So when you do go off-roading, just ensure that you are careful of that. But I mean, it's got over 200 millimeters of ground clearance, so you should be fine. This bright orange color, is something that I think every Triton Shogun owner needs to have. I've seen black, which is also good, but the white for me is just a bit dull. You then come across the side and you've got this 18-inch alloy, which does look good in black, dressed in this, you know, all-terrain Dunlop Grand Tech 8035 tire, which is obviously very good for all terrains. You can go wherever you want to go without really worrying about it. You've got blacked out door mirrors, blacked out roof racks, you've got blacked out door handles, some side steps over here. And obviously, like I mentioned, because of ground, ground clearance, you're quite good in terms of, you know, any obstacles you, must come, you might encounter. When you're coming towards the rear, you've got your show gun embossed in there, and then just a really good looking sports bar, as well as a tonneau cover. Now, I don't know if I'd go to no cover or a roller shutter, but either way, I think it looks good. Let me turn the car around for you and then we'll go for a drive. When you come across the back, I think it's quite good looking. You've got these taillight covers, obviously black bumpers, uh, tow bar, but yo, this is ex extremely heavy. This is essentially an arm workout, but you've got a lot of space in there to load up whatever you have to do. And also any, you know, lighting, but um, I think they've done a lot. Remember, this car has been on the market for quite a while now. This is essentially a facelift, but yeah, that is essentially it. Then you've got your Mitsubishi logo right on there. They've tried to do some black detailing on there, which does look good. Your Triton badge at the rear. And that's about it. Let's take this baby for a drive. So, how does the interior of the Mitsubishi Triton Shogun fare and obviously how does it drive, which is obviously the most important part. And I'm, you know what, the interior instantly is the first place that you're going to notice that it's dated. You will instantly, instantly, instantly notice that it's dated and 
while be it as it may that it's dated the stitching on the steering wheel is really nice these color mounted pedal shifters are just a really really nice touch which i appreciate this it's solid it's really really built solid the build quality is really really good it's something that you would appreciate it's nothing that you're going to complain about there's this red stitching that goes around these leather perforated seats which i appreciate as well the multifunctional steering wheel has buttons that are clear and concise in terms of what you need to do you've got an analog driver's display and you know obviously just some you know vents temperature controls on here this screen is absolutely horrible it's absolutely absolutely horrible i would have appreciated even if it wasn't here it was just you know just a little i don't know what it is um that but this is absolutely horrible the sound system is also horrible it's just made to it's it gives it a really utilitarian feel and look and feel um and it doesn't give like it's a 2024 bucky that you're gonna be going out to buy you know what i mean especially in this day and age where the buck is right now on the market it listen the interior they've ditched the entire you know we're ditching the entire utilitarian look we're going with how the car is meant to you know on day-to-day -day basis whereas this is just okay you know you've got your drive mode not sorry you've got your off-roading selector right on here and then you've got this gated automatic transmission obviously which is that some space in here and in the rear also decent amount of space for people to sit in which i do not mind and yeah that's about it really it's it's functional though it's a functional interior that i'll give it that it's nothing that is wow but it's fit for purpose so that's where they got it right in terms of the drive this 2.4 liter is honestly honestly the thing that would make you buy this bucky it's refined it's silent you don't even really hear the fact that you know you're driving a bucky which is really really comfortable um you know the drive itself it soaks up the bumps quite comfortably obviously those 18 inch grand track dunlops also means you can go anywhere you can do bashing bundu bashing and you wouldn't really care about it with obviously the all-terrain tire you would suspect some tire noise but surprisingly there is no road uh, tire noise getting into the cabin the cabin is well insulated like i've enjoyed driving this bucky so much they caught 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers in terms of fuel consumption but i am currently doing let's just see here i am dabbling at wow this is impressive so i've been doing 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers and i've traveled okay throughout this week i've put mileage on this car and currently sitting on 80 kilometers of range but that is a perfect example of you'll essentially be spending one tank a week so that is really quite cool it's just a really refined obviously a four-wheel drive um switchable four-wheel drive system you can go to the rear wheel or all wheel drive and that is it i mean it's got that factor where everybody just looks at you man everybody just looks at you especially in this bright orange color everybody just looks at you i've seen other colors which are a bit dull but everybody here just really looks at you it's comfortable and i think that's the most important thing that i've picked up this week is that this bucky is really comfortable 133 133 kilowatts and 430 newton meters of torque and that's more than sufficient power for towing um obviously 3000 um over 3000 kilograms in terms of towing but the power in terms of 400 newton meter for the power in terms of 400 newton meters is way more than sufficient for your day to days and all that and 133 kilowatts not too bad for from the 2.2 2.4 liter engine i'm sorry so yeah i think mitsubishi have gone and put out a worthy product i just feel like there's not much awareness in terms of the mitsubishi brand and it's sort of kind of becoming a, oh wow that's a mitsubishi when did you see one i mean obviously back in the days you had the likes of the cult which was such a hit and i just feel like now this is also a hit but nobody's talking about it nobody's doing anything like in terms of buckies in south africa 
everybody just thinks of you know Isuzu, Volkswagen, and Ford. Well, as well as um, Toyota, those four, and you don't really think about this. And right now, I'd like to think that the hype is even much more. Um, you know, when you look at the hype of the GWM P series, it's much more than this. People who look at, at a P series before they look at, at this, and I'm just like, this, there is this, guys. Go and look at this if you want to test drive this car, try it out, and trust me, you will be surprised. You will definitely, definitely be surprised. Before I go, please don't forget to use the link in my bio, the link in my description to get a quote from Naked Insurance. You can save yourself some money on your bikes, and you know, you will definitely love it. Oh, before I go, actually. When you're considering a bucky, this bucky will definitely not be stolen. I can guarantee you that this bucky is one of those that will give you peace of mind. And I just, I'll leave you guys on that note. Great pricing for the bucky, peace of mind, great drive, great looks. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Let's take it to 10,000 subscribers, guys. 10,000 subscribers. Don't forget, keep left and always pass right if you're in South Africa. Peace out.